Isn't that just like God? Here's the kingdom of Judah facing a mighty battle. Maybe their biggest to date. Verse 2 says a vast army. I looked up vast and the definition is unusually great in size. And some synonyms, synonyms are huge, massive, measureless, unlimitable, humongous. We are talking about insurmountable odds. That's until God entered the equation. God did not provide victory for Judah. God not only provided victory for Judah, He did without even fighting. And to top it off, they got so much clothing and equipment that it took three days to collect it all. What I'm trying to say here is if you want victory in your battles, praise God. Worship Him in your struggles. Which I know is hard to do, but I can tell you that from experience. And the devil and his legion will have no choice but to flee. Do you remember the song we sang right before the message? Did you just sing it to sing it? Or did you mean it when you sang it? If you forgot the words, here they are. My God is faithful. My God is truthful. Boundless in all He is. My God is wisdom. My God is righteous. My God is vision for all who see. My God is power. My God is glory. My God is ruler over all that is. My God is timeless. My God is justice. My God is mercy to the oppressed. With all that our God is, how can we lose? I challenge you today, right here, right now. When the storm comes, when the battle for your soul ensues, worship God. Turn to Him. Run to Him. Do whatever you got to do. You just get there. The worst thing you can do is turn from him. I've seen it too many times. When things turn bad, they blame God. And they run from him. That is a big, huge mistake. I read this somewhere. The Psalms are a spiritual medicine cap. Just read through them. Here are but a few. Psalm 99. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. 46 1. God is our refuge and strength, an ever present help in trouble. 30 1. I will exalt you, O Lord, for you lifted me out of the depth and did not let my enemies float over me. And the list goes on. To close, I would like to uh, play a song for you. I have the words here to read it, but I don't think I can get through it. It was penned by a man right after he had lost his child through a miscarriage. I want you to just, you don't have to sing that song, you know it, but I want you to just. Listen to the words. See the words. And imagine the strength of this man. During the penalties after he lost the child. Probably the deepest, darkest day of his life. And he wrote this song.
my faith, Lord. Sight unknown, and yet His eyes were watching me. The anchor holds, though the ship. Sails are torn. I have fallen on my knees as I face the raging seas. The anchor holds in spite of the storm.
Heavenly Father, gracious God, we're so thankful, Lord, for you being in our lives. You being here today, Lord. You are so wonderful. Oh. You did not tell us there would not be any storms in our life. As a matter of fact, your word says they are coming. But it's what we do when those storms come, Lord, that matters so much. At times it is so easy to just run away, not to face that storm, to keep it at our backs. It is so easy. But we need to face that storm, head into it, knowing you are with us. We cannot do it alone. We can only do it with you. We thank you for being here. There are so much sicknesses out there. Within our church alone are cancers, sicknesses, diseases. We cannot fight them alone. We need you. You are there, standing beside us. We just need to reach out our hand. Grab a hold of yours for that strength that you promised you would find. Father, we love you and we thank you. In Jesus' name we pray that you will be done. Amen. Amen. Due to the time we're going to forego the last song, just remember, just remember, Jesus is your anchor. He will always hold strong in every storm you face in your lives. Have a good day.